Okay, finally, one more question here, question 43. Uh, with reference to question 38, what is the total vertical distance to which the, ball, the, the rubber ball will travel? Okay, well, in question 38, we discovered that the, the total distance that that ball travels is going to be 2 times the sum minus 10. And again, that's because the ball goes up and down. So every time the ball uh, travels, or every time, I should say, like this, every time we add an additional term, we have to add it twice because the ball travels that distance going up and then travels it going down. But we subtract the first one because it's um, uh, the ball doesn't doesn't do that twice. Now, in this case though, we're going to look at an infinite sum here. Okay, so we're going to figure out how far the ball goes infinitely here. Uh, for the ball, we knew that the the initial distance that it traveled was 10, and that it was always losing 10%. So the R value would be 0.9. And so this becomes, okay, 10 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9, and then at the end here, minus 10. And now we just have to evaluate this. And it's really not all that difficult to, to go through and do this. This is going to be 2 over uh, times 10 over, well, 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 minus 10. Uh, 10 divided by 0 0.1, or a tenth, is going to end up being 100. 2 times 100 is 200, minus 10 is 190. So the total vertical distance that the ball is going to travel through is going to end up being 190 feet.